It's 2024 and I haven't done a vlog or video since CX Nats and I'm sure some of you are wondering, where have you been? Well, I'm here and I've been settling into a slightly different lifestyle, but let's rewind to 2023 and talk about some of the things that brought on changes for me this year. 2023 sucked for numerous reasons, one of those being I did not renew my contract with Kona. Back in December, I spoke pretty gracefully about the end of an era, essentially. I am, after all, a respectable adult with a mortgage, a dog, and houseplants. But the reality is, cover your ears, kids. I felt blindsided by the whole thing, and I think my teammates did too. I'm not bringing this up now because I'm bitter. Ha! <laughs> It's because nobody ever talks about this stuff. We live on social media where everything is smiles and flowers. And I think it sets an unfair expectation of reality for the next generation. So let me give you some advice, kids. If you're in need of a contract or your contract is about to end, get your ducks in a row starting in July. Budgets are set in October, and if you're not included in the budget, maybe consider asking mom, dad, auntie or uncle or really whoever for a loan hey mom can you loan me like thirty thousand dollars i want to take a chance on myself and spend the year traveling the nation doing bike racing in hopes of making a career out of it whoa okay okay i'll, I'll just ask dad fine so where did that leave me that left me without a job which meant no way to pay my bills Sure, I could have gone all in on my YouTube channel and made a bunch of videos utilizing an alter ego, but I just didn't think that I could pull it off as well as some people could. It all just felt a bit too risky. Sherm needs a steady income for sweet potatoes and dental shoes. Luckily, I had a plan B, which is another lesson, kids. Always oh, have a plan B. You sound like my mom. I'd been working with bike flights on the side for about three years, and I was offered a full-time position at the start of the year, which I gratefully accepted. Kenny, on the other hand, is having trouble coming to terms with corporate life. For clarity, bike flights doesn't pay me to ride my bike. They pay me to do a job, and therefore, in my book, I'm no longer a professional cyclist. Honestly, it's tough to say. I've made a living racing a bike for over a decade. And at least for the time being, that has come to be all right. So that begs an even bigger question. Are you retiring? <laughs> While it feels like a step in that direction, I don't plan on hanging up my bike by any means. My schedule and priorities will look a little bit different moving forward, but I'll still be at the races. It may be less races, but it will for sure be the races that I want to be at, which means more cyclocross. So where have I been? I've been here doing my J-O-B, and slowly plotting how I can take over the world with a nine to five-ish, three-ish on Fridays. The way I'm going to start doing that will become clear in my next video where I'll talk about what my 2024 program is going to look like, my schedule, and who I'm working with this year. Stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching. Bravo, well done, perfectly said.